This is a video showing you how to achieve an anodized look for your RC parts. As you can see from the title of the video, anodized is in quotation marks, and there's good reason for that. This is not a true way of anodizing parts, but it does give you the appearance, or I should say finish, of what anodizing looks like. As you can see, I've done the gear cover, the top of the waterproof receiver box, as well as the steel links. Now the springs, and yeah, just the springs. I didn't anodize those. Those came as is. And for my stampede, you can see I did it with the same parts. So what is the secret to achieving this? And there it is, Duplicolor's Metal Cast Anodized Surface Color System. This color paint has dazzling anodized color effects over chrome shiny metal surfaces, high gloss, heat resistant, and durable. Now in order to use this stuff, you can only spray it on shiny surfaces. For example, I can spray the rim of this tire and it would turn out perfectly. However, let's say if I wanted to do the shock tower, what I'd have to do is cover it in chrome and then I can use this stuff on top of it. Now, what I use for like the gearbox cover and the waterproof receiver box, I just used a basic no-name brand of chrome paint. Let it dry and then covered it in the metal cast. And then you can see it turned out really well. So if anything is shiny right off the bat, you're in luck, because all you have to do is cover it up. But if you want to paint something that is not shiny and doesn't have that silver appearance, then you're gonna to have to prep it first. The great thing about this stuff is that it is heat resistant up to 500 degrees, so you can use it on heat sinks, even motors if you want to. How durable is it? Well, it takes about seven days to dry, and during those seven days, it can scrape off rather easily, especially if it's rubbed up against metal or hard surfaces like rock or asphalt, sidewalk, things like that. And you can tell a little bit when I flipped my stampede over that it rubbed up against the sidewalk and it came off just a little bit. It still looks really good. I highly advise that you just use this stuff on parts that don't come in contact with other things. Like a good example would be a bulkhead. If you buy a silver bulkhead, you can just anodize that whatever color you want. And then since it doesn't really come in contact with anything, it'll stay looking good. But for other parts like the shock towers, um, shock towers, body mounts, whatever, you really don't want to do that since they're going to be constantly grinded up against things and it will just chip off the stuff. But besides that, it does really look good and it's really just simple spray on a few light coats, let it dry, wait 10 minutes and then keep applying until you get the desired effect of color that you wish. Like I could have made this a lot darker red or I could have made it a lot more lighter, but I liked it at this shade. The only surface you can't use it on are flexible things, such as shock springs. This stuff dries solid, and if it's on a flexible surface, it's going to crack and fall off. So only use it on solid pieces. Now to demonstrate how to do this, I'm just going to go ahead and use the battery tie for my stampede. You can see inside there it says Traxxas. I'm just going to go ahead and, well, anodize it, or at least give it an anodized finish. So to start off, I need to spray paint this chrome. So it's been 24 hours. Now it's time to go ahead and anodize this red. You gotta shake the can up for at least one minute. Now, when you're doing the first layers, you really want to be quick and, well, steady, I should say. Six to ten inches away, back, forth, that's it. Let it dry just a little bit, and then you're going to do a medium layer. And now, you let it sit for ten minutes. And then you're going to come back and do it over and over and over again until you get the shade you want. Once again, if the part you're painting is already silver, then all you have to do is jump straight to the step. Do a couple few layers, and followed by a medium, and then let it sit for 10 minutes, come back, do it over and over again until you achieve the desired look. After spraying it down four times for over 40 minutes, I am done. One of the bad things about this stuff is that it does take seven days for it to set properly. However, it only takes about an hour for it to become dry enough so you can touch it. But if you're using it on any kind of metal parts, I would definitely wait those seven days before you start testing its endurance.
Now I've tried numerous different types of paints and I really have to admit this stuff really does have the best finish to it. If you want to try it out for yourself you can get this stuff over at any auto shop such as Pet Boys. Now it does come in numerous colors not just purple and red. I know there's blue and I'm sure there's more than that. There is a pre-coat to this that costs around ten dollars as well but as I showed you you can just use a brilliant silver paint. If you guys have any questions feel free to ask but that is all that I have to show you.